Hello Team NAFAC Southeast. I'm Captain Hort Headquarters, your commanding officer. As you can see, I'm wearing denim today. This is because I wanted to talk to you about a very serious topic, not just as your commanding officer, but also as a concerned member of our team. April is Sexual Assault Awareness and Prevention Month, and today is Denim Day, another reason for my attire. Wearing denim on Denim Day serves as a reminder that there's never an acceptable excuse for committing sexual assault. This annual event is inspired by a 1992 Italian sexual assault conviction that was overturned by the Italian Supreme Court on the basis that the victim had to remove her tight jeans, thus implying consent. In the stance of solidarity, the women members of the Italian parliament wore jeans to work the next day, making this the first denim day. Since 2019, the theme of Sexual Assault Awareness and Prevention Month has remained the same. Protecting our people protects our mission. Let this theme serve as a reminder of the painful impacts a sexual assault can inflict on those affected, and ultimately the impact it could have on our ability to be the best team possible. Considering the impacts of these actions could have or already have had on our team, sexual assault or harassment here at NAFAC Southeast will not be tolerated. Ideally, these events will cease to happen. In the meantime, do not underestimate your ability to prevent the sexual assault from occurring. Be sure to pay close attention during your annual mandatory training regarding these matters to help you remain a diligent participant in bystander prevention. Our team is made up of several duty status types. Therefore, it is important to understand the resources available to all personnel. Resources can vary based on whether you are a service member or civilian teammate. However, everyone within DOD can utilize the DOD Safe Helpline. The helpline is free, anonymous, and confidential, and is available 24 hours a day, seven days a week worldwide. This is a call, text, or chat helpline available to all members of the DOD community. For detailed information on the resources available to you, visit the link provided here. For victims not affiliated with the military or DOD, the National Sexual Assault Hotline can be found here. The road to recovery for a survivor of sexual assault varies from person to person. If someone shares with you that they have been sexually assaulted, the most important thing you can do is believe them. Then, be sure to encourage them to get the help that they need and deserve. If you're a survivor of sexual assault, I am so sorry for what you experienced and my heart goes out to you. Please know that you're not alone and I ask that you utilize the resources available to you. You are worth it. It is never too late to reach out for assistance. Thank you for taking the time to listen to this very important topic. Sexual assault awareness and prevention is highlighted during the month of April but let us always be aware of our surroundings to help prevent this from happening to anyone. Be a diligent participant in bystander prevention. Stay safe, stay healthy, and watch out for each other. Take care, Team Southeast. This month's Bravo Zulu goes to PWD Jacksonville's Ryan Howard, Cheryl Milligan, Randy Wilder, and Ensign Steven Switek. They executed PWD Jacksonville's first ever in-house airfield area development plan. ADPs are driven by mission needs to provide guidance for future development and is formulated with significant stakeholder involvement. Typically, these efforts are lengthy and expensive. However, this ADP required an expedited update in support of continuing P-8 Poseidon requirements and Fleet Readiness Center expansion. This updated ADP will target facility investments, inform warfighter facility programming efforts, 
and enable risk-based funding decisions in the next 10 to 25 years. Ryan, Cheryl, Randy, and Ensensoitec's efforts over the past several months has allowed NAFAC Southeast to be more agile and make more cost-effective decisions. Great job, team.